guys, welcome to one more video. Welcome to Moscovita Kaisara. Here I am in Moscow once more. This is Gul Mall, uh, probably the most famous mall in the whole Russia. And I've brought someone, a guest, to tell us about something very interesting. This is Mr. Philip. Philip, welcome. So, you want to introduce yourself? I'm from New York City. New York City. You're visiting, visiting here, yeah. Okay, uh, cool. How many days so far? Since the 18th. Since the 18th, In okay. December. So it's like 10 days. Oh, yeah, it's about one week. Okay. Well, no, it's not day. All right. And uh, these 10 days, what's your impression so far? Well, 10 days is like, uh, especially after not going anywhere for two years, it's oh. like uh, I appreciate a more and more, it's a blessing. <laughs> a relief, okay. So it's like amazing. All right. So Philip has got something very interesting to tell us. So he's from New York City and I met him earlier this week and he mentioned seven reasons why Moscow is a city better than New York. Do you believe? So today he's going to tell us, all right? So, for seven yeah. So, Philip, would you tell us what are the seven reasons you think that make Moscow a better city than New York? Number one, the metro station is the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, cleanliness, no graffiti, made of marble. Car bubble, unlike in New York City, dirtiest, ugliest, and smelliest in the world. <laughs> okay. And also, according to uh, Guinness Book of Record, Moscow is currently spending, expanding the metro station, mm -hmm. spending the most money from any country. And when it is finished, the circle line will be the biggest circle line in the world. Okay. Number yeah, yeah, I checked that myself. It's number two, three, four in terms of places to go in Moscow. Palaces, monasteries, cathedrals, museums. See? By the way, how many museums do you have in New York? 400. In New York? No, no, sorry. In Moscow, 400. Uh-huh. In New York City, only 100. Wow, it's a As you know, big difference. America was founded in 1496. So we're talking about maybe 500, 600 years old. The age of Moscow alone is 850 years old. Plus, you had Tsars and Serenas. We didn't have kings and queens. Uh -huh. So we can see mansion, but we cannot see palaces in America. Number five, the food in general in Russia is healthier than in America. Why? Because Russia is one of the few countries who ban GMO products. We eat GMO products in America. For example, when you grow chicken naturally, it takes two weeks. No, no. When you grow chicken naturally, it takes two years. With injection, it takes two weeks. Believe it or not, in America, even dogs have cancer. <laughs> Number okay. six, the park, the decoration during the holidays. Did you be actually the park in Moscow? You feel like Santa Park? It's an embarrassment. <laughs> okay. For example. The ice skating ring, the the size of it, twenty thousand square meters, the biggest in Europe, compared to New York, the one in Santa Park plus Chelsea Piers, which by Park combined, ten times bigger. The decoration, 
the light on the ice. <laughs> okay. Cool. Number seven. Uh, seven is more of a scientific uh, topic. Maybe I give you a bonus. <laughs> All right, all right. The women are... Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, are they done? Oh, yeah, here. I'm going to ask you a reason why. I'm going to ask you a question. Why? Why is it that after 1945, right? Only America and Russia, they become... They became two leading superpower countries. Why? There's a reason why. Not Italy, not Japan. Not France, not English. Mm. Well, have you seen the movie Monument Man? I haven't based seen this one. Okay. Based on the true story. In this movie, right, you'll see Germany, they stole all these greatest arts in the world. Monet, Picasso, right? In this movie, you notice that America. Only America and Russia, they're into race, into getting this sports of war. The reason is this, because after 1945, some of the books and the scientists, they went to America. Some of the books and scientists, they went to Russia. One of which is Werner von Braun, the founder of NASA. That guy is actually from, he's a German scientist. And so, we had it, we had it. So, here we are, guys. We have very polemic <laughs> comments, but it's really fun. Thanks for coming to our channel. Thank so, that's like it. Mine. Hope you guys liked watching the video, and hope to see you in the next ones.